Imagine this. You wake up one morning, reach for your phone, and find it's dead. The screen is blank, and no matter how many times you press the power button, it remains unresponsive. Strange, you think. It was charged last night. You distinctly remember plugging it in before going to bed, and the battery was full. You plug it in, hoping it's just a minor glitch, but something's still wrong. There's no signal, no connection to the network. An hour later, panic sets in. You start to realize that this is more than just a technical issue. Your phone is your lifeline, and without it, you feel completely cut off. You try to access your bank accounts on your laptop, but you can't log in. The screen shows an error message, and your heart starts to race. Your social media has been taken over. Posts you didn't write, messages you didn't send, and friends you didn't add are all there. You've been locked out of your life. What happened? How did everything spiral out of control so quickly? The answer might send chills down your spine. Your SIM card, that tiny chip in your phone, was cloned. Someone has duplicated it, gaining access to your personal information and accounts. This isn't a scene from a spy thriller, it's a stark reality in our increasingly connected world. The convenience of our digital lives comes with hidden dangers. Hackers are constantly devising new ways to exploit vulnerabilities, and SIM cloning is a potent weapon in their arsenal. They can intercept your calls, read your messages, and even access your financial information. It's a silent attack, often undetectable until it's too late. By the time you realize something is wrong, the damage is already done. The consequences can be devastating, leading to financial ruin, identity theft, and a profound sense of violation. You might find yourself dealing with fraudulent charges, loans taken out in your name, and a tarnished credit score. But before we delve into the chilling repercussions, let's understand what SIM cloning is and how it happens. How can a small piece of plastic and metal cause such chaos in your life? What steps can you take to protect yourself from this invisible threat? SIM cloning involves duplicating the unique identifier of your SIM card, known as the International Mobile Subscriber Identity, IMSI. Hackers use sophisticated tools to copy this information onto a blank SIM card, effectively creating a clone of your original card. Often, the process starts with phishing attacks or social engineering. You might receive a text message or email that looks legitimate, prompting you to click on a link or provide personal information. Once the hacker has your details, they can contact your mobile carrier, posing as you, and request a new SIM card. With the right information, they can convince the carrier to activate the new card, effectively hijacking your phone number. This is why it's crucial to be vigilant about the information you share and to recognize the signs of phishing attempts. Always verify the source before clicking on links or providing sensitive information. To protect yourself, consider setting up two-factor authentication on your accounts, using strong unique passwords, and regularly monitoring your financial statements for any unusual activity. By taking these precautions, you can reduce the risk of falling victim to SIM cloning and ensure that your digital life remains secure. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and protect your digital identity. In our connected world, awareness and proactive measures are your best defense against the invisible threats lurking in the shadows. Your SIM card or subscriber identity module is essentially your phone's ID card. This tiny piece of plastic holds the key to your mobile identity and is crucial for your phone's functionality. It contains a unique International Mobile Subscriber Identity IMSI number that identifies you to your mobile network. This number is like your phone's social security number, ensuring that your device is recognized and authenticated by the network. This allows your phone to connect to the network, make calls, send messages, and access data. Without this connection, your phone would be unable to perform these essential functions, rendering it practically useless. Think of it like this. Your phone is the car, and the SIM card is the key. Just as a car key is necessary to start and operate a vehicle, a SIM card is necessary for your phone to function properly. Without the key, the car won't start. It will just sit there, unable to move or perform any of its intended functions. Similarly, without a valid SIM card, your phone is just an expensive paperweight. It may look sleek and high-tech, but without that tiny card, it can't connect to the network or perform any of its smart functions. Now, imagine someone making a copy of your car key. 
This would give them the ability to access your car, start it, and drive it away without your permission. They could unlock your car, drive it around, and even steal it right out from under you. This is a serious breach of security and can lead to significant loss and inconvenience. That's essentially what SIM cloning does. It creates a duplicate of your SIM card, granting unauthorized access to your mobile identity. This means that someone could potentially make calls, send messages, and use data on your account, all without your knowledge or consent. The consequences of SIM cloning can be severe. You might notice unexpected charges on your phone bill, or find that your data usage has skyrocketed. In some cases, your personal information could be at risk, leading to identity theft and other forms of fraud. If you suspect that your SIM card has been cloned, it's important to contact your mobile service provider immediately. They can help you secure your account and prevent further unauthorized access. In some cases, you may need to get a new SIM card to replace the compromised one. This will ensure that your phone can continue to function securely and that your mobile identity remains protected. To prevent SIM cloning, consider setting up a PIN for your SIM card. This adds an extra layer of security, making it more difficult for unauthorized individuals to access your mobile identity. By understanding the importance of your SIM card and taking steps to protect it, you can ensure that your phone remains a powerful and secure tool in your daily life. Hackers have a few tricks up their sleeves when it comes to cloning SIM cards. This clandestine art has evolved over the years, becoming more sophisticated and harder to detect. The methods they use can range from the highly technical to the deceptively simple, but all are designed to gain unauthorized access to your mobile communications. One method is physical cloning, which involves extracting sensitive information from your SIM card using specialized hardware and software. This process requires a hacker to have physical access to your SIM card, which they can achieve through various means, such as stealing your phone or obtaining your SIM card through other deceptive tactics. Once they have your SIM card, they use a SIM card reader to extract the data, which is then copied onto a blank SIM card. This cloned SIM card can then be used to make calls, send messages, and access data as if they were you. This requires physical access to your SIM card, making it a more targeted attack. However, it is not as common as other methods due to the need for physical proximity. Despite this, it remains a significant threat, especially in situations where a hacker can gain access to your personal belongings. Another, more common method is the SIM swap attack. This technique has gained notoriety in recent years due to its effectiveness and the minimal technical skills required to execute it. In a SIM swap attack, Hackers use social engineering to trick your mobile carrier into transferring your phone number to a SIM card they control. This is a social engineering technique where hackers trick your mobile carrier into transferring your phone number to a SIM card they control. They might call your carrier, posing as you, and claim that your SIM card was lost or stolen. By providing enough personal information, which they may have obtained through phishing or data breaches, they convince the carrier to activate a new SIM card with your number. They might call your carrier, posing as you, and claim that your SIM card was lost or stolen. Once the carrier is convinced, they deactivate your original SIM card and activate the new one in the hacker's possession. This allows the hacker to receive all your calls and messages, effectively taking over your phone number. Once they have your number, they can receive your calls, messages, and even bypass two-factor authentication. This is particularly dangerous because many online services use your phone number as a second layer of security. With control over your number, hackers can reset passwords and gain access to your email, bank accounts, and social media profiles. Then there are SS7 exploits. SS7, or signaling system number seven, is a set of protocols used by telecom networks to exchange information needed for making calls and sending text messages. It is an essential part of the global telecommunications infrastructure, but it has vulnerabilities that can be exploited by hackers. SS7, or signaling system number 7, is a global network that connects different mobile carriers. This network allows carriers to route calls and messages between each other, ensuring that you can communicate with people on different networks. However, the SS7 network was designed decades ago, and its security measures are not up to modern standards. Hackers can exploit vulnerabilities in SS7 to intercept your calls and messages, track your location, and even clone your SIM card remotely.
by gaining access to the SS7 network, they can reroute your communications to their own devices, effectively eavesdropping on your conversations and reading your messages without your knowledge. In 2019, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey fell victim to a SIM swap attack, highlighting the vulnerability of even high-profile individuals to this type of attack. This incident brought widespread attention to the dangers of SIM swapping and the need for better security measures to protect against it. Despite the high-profile nature of this attack, everyday individuals are also at risk, making it crucial to understand these threats and take steps to safeguard your personal information. With a cloned SIM card, hackers gain access to a treasure trove of sensitive information. They can intercept your calls and messages, including those containing two-factor authentication codes. This allows them to bypass security measures and gain access to your online accounts, including bank accounts, email, and social media. Once they're in, they can drain your bank accounts, make fraudulent purchases, steal your identity, and even impersonate you online. The damage can be devastating, both financially and emotionally. Imagine the stress of dealing with identity theft, the financial burden of fraudulent charges, and the violation of having your personal information compromised. SIM cloning is not a victimless crime. It's a serious threat that can have far-reaching consequences for individuals and businesses alike.